Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can turn your old Mac, or old computer for that matter, into an external monitor for your current Mac. So, when you go to upgrade your Mac, and then you have your old one sitting around if you didn't sell it, it kind of probably just sits there and doesn't get much use, and it almost seems like it's a waste having your old Mac there. Uh, but there's a thing you can do to make it useful again. So first of all, before you start anything, you're going to want to have your computers on the same network. So the Mac that you're going to be using as your main computer and the computer you're going to be using as your external display, they both have to be on the same network. Whether that be a wireless or a wired network, they both have to be on the same network, otherwise you're not going to get anything. In my case, since the computer I'm using isn't equipped with a wireless card and I have a wireless network. What I did is I strung an Ethernet cord between my iMac and the Dell I'm using and then I went into System Preferences, Sharing, and I clicked on Internet Sharing and what I did is I turned on Internet Sharing so that I can share my connection from airports to computers using Ethernet. So basically what it did is it extended the network to that Dell computer. So to turn your old Mac into an extra monitor, what you're going to need to do is first go to ScreenRecycler.com and download Screen Recycler. Now, you have two different options here. You can get the free version or the paid version. I have the free version for this. Uh, the paid version is $29.90, but if you think about it, $29.90 is still a deal uh, if you consider what an uh, external monitor would cost you. Now, just a little word of warning, this isn't as good as an external monitor. Uh, but, you know, it works, and for $29.90, it's not really a bad deal. The only difference between the two is with the free version, you can only use it for a certain time before it disconnects, basically. So you're going to go to the download page, and I'm just going to download the free version here. And I'm going to open this up and install it from here. So here's the Screen Recycler folder that I downloaded. Now in it you're going to see Jolly's Fast VNC as well as the Screen Recycler application. Now on your secondary computer, the one that you want to turn into an external monitor, you're going to need this VNC program if you're running on a Mac. Uh, but if you're running on a Windows-based PC, you're going, to, you're going to need to find a different VNC application. And if you just go to Google and you search VNC, there's tons of free VNC applications out there. On the PC that I'm demoing in this video, I used Tight VNC, which is just a free application, and it works well. And it might actually be better for you to find a different VNC program rather than Jolly's Fast VNC, uh, because once again, this is a paid application, but there are many free VNC applications out there. So once you've downloaded Screen Recycler and you open it up and everything gets set up, uh, first of all here I'm going to see the trial version reminder, I'm going to click buy later, and you can see it's running here and it's awaiting a connection. So down below that you're going to see point your VNC client to, and I get a couple different things, and I'll show you what that all means in a second. Now if you go over to your Windows computer, you're going to want to launch your VNC viewer at this time. And on most of these viewers, if not all of them, you're going to see right away an input box that's going to ask you for the IP address or the name of your VNC server. And what Screen Recycler is doing is it's making a VNC server on your Mac. So this is where you're going to want to go back to Screen Recycler. And on here you're going to see point your VNC client to. Now I have a couple different options. ms-imac.local, I could do that. Or it gives me some IP addresses that I could try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the IP address they listed here. In that case, it is 192.168.1.4. And then you're going to see right at the bottom, it says using port 6900. So then after I type in my IP address, I'm going to type in colon 6900. And when I click connect, you're going to see your IMAX screen flash for a second. And it's going to connect to the VNC viewer. And you can see that Screen Recycler is connected now, and the icon in the dock looks a little different. You can see that it's connected. Now on your PC, or Mac for that matter, you're going to see that it looks and acts just like an external monitor now. So for example, if I open up System Preferences, and I go into the Displays tab, 
I already have a secondary monitor hooked up to my iMac. Uh, so if I go into arrangement, you're going to see the secondary monitor to the left, and above that, the third monitor that's hooked up with Screen Recycler. And of course, from here, you can click and drag these around to rearrange them on however you choose. And you're also going to get the different display properties. Uh, I could change the resolution and the color, um, all different things like that. Now, the one downfall to this setup is that the secondary monitor that you have connected, since it's not connected physically to your computer uh, with a cable such as HDMI or mini display port or something like that, you're not going to get the same bandwidth and speed as you would with a conventional setup. So some things might be kind of laggy on your secondary monitor, uh, and this is expected with anything that's running over a network connection, uh, but it's still, it's not a monitor you're going to want to play video on or do anything very intensive. I found it best to run a Twitter client or just something more stationary, uh, maybe throw a finder window up there when I want quick access to it. But it's not a monitor that I'd really recommend for use as much as your main monitor because you're not going to achieve the same performance. For example, when I go into the displays here and I move the window around, you can see that it's rather laggy. Now, I don't know if this is a problem just with my VNC client or, or with my connection itself, as I have seen other videos of this running, uh, for example, the one on the Screen Recycler website, and other YouTube videos of people who have set up this same setup, and it has run much faster for them. So this could be a connection problem. So basically, the thing you're going to want to know is that results may vary. But this is all there is to it, and it's an easy way to turn your old Mac or PC into an external monitor for your Mac and get some more use out of it. So I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.